Indian government subsidies on different products and services has found a new challenger. Its strategic ally, the U.S., has filed a complaint now against India about its export subsidy programs at the World Trade Organization, or WTO. In its request to hold consultations with India, the first step before legal action, the U.S. has argued that the incentives violate WTO agreements as India is no longer below the economic benchmark of $1,000 per capita gross national income. Well, Indian, Indian authorities said they will respond to the U.S. request for consultations within the specified 60 days. They argued that, like other countries in the past, India should be allowed a transition period of eight years. The U.S. Trade Representative Robert Lightshire has said that the challenge covers Indian programs, including the merchandise export from India, the Export-Oriented Unit Scheme and the Electronics Hardware Technology Park Scheme. The U.S. claims export subsidies give Indian companies an unfair advantage and unfair towards American workers as well. The Trump government has frequently criticized Geneva-based WTO and has continued to block new appointments to the WTO's appellate body. However, WTO dispute settlement body sees uh, by the USTR as a body to ensure fair trade for the U.S. Look, the U.S. has increased. The U.S. has increased by 25% of the duty. The effect of the steel producing countries is increased by the U.S. सब पे ही पड़ेगा और हमारे पे भी लेकिन हम इसके लिए जो चाइना है जापान है कोरिया है उनका भी देख रहे हैं रिएक्शन और हम ये चाहते हैं ये क्योंकि एक्सपोर्ट इंपोर्ट का बैलेंस रख के ही कोई अच्छा व्यापार हो सकता है इसलिए हम चाइना और दूसरी जो कंट्रीज हैं जिन्होंने इस मुद्दे को टेक अप किया है उनसे भी हम सोच रहे हैं कि वो किस तरीके से इसको लेके चलना चाहते हैं एंड सुमित चतुर्वेदी माय कॉलीग जॉइंस मी लाइव फ्रॉम द वी ऑन न्यूज रूम गुड मॉर्निंग सुमित व्हाट्स द रियल इश्यू हियर ब्रेक इट डाउन फॉर द वी ऑन व्यूअर इफ यू विल well it looks like uh, us is now uh, ready for all kind of trade wars and earlier it was china and overall global markets china was there earlier because us wanted specifically duties on these steel and aluminum products that are dumped from china now it has targeted india india because india gives yes a lot of subsidies to its farmers even tech sector and also electronic sectors so now us has reached wto saying that why india is giving these subsidies to its farmers that makes the overall farm produce cheaper uh, to export to us now this is a very uh, it's a big paradox because uh, us itself is 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 the one responsible for uh, we can say that bring bringing down the overall importance of wto in a way it never went to wto even before putting duties of 25% on steel and aluminium it did not take any permission from wto it actually broke all the rules of wto or fair trade as we say it and it is now going to wto against indian subsidies that something is not clear at all why wto is doing uh, us is doing it and why us is going to wto now so here uh, yes india gives subsidies to farmers it companies there are many schemes that give subsidies to even poor people who make small wares that are exported so us now wants an end to these subsidies which are given to these small units that are according to us are hampering us business growth in many parts of the world so clearly wto here is in focus the big point here is what is wto going to do about all that it has no so far given no clear guidance on as to what stand it has taken on 25% import tariff and what stand will it take on indian uh, the complaint of uh, we can say that this uh, particular us against indian subsidies so wto is very silent and that's very mysterious right on that note sumit thank you so much for that update